today I'm, I'm here with our Nexo, which is our latest fuel cell vehicle. Um, this vehicle will be available in the U.S. at the fourth quarter of this year. Um, as a hydrogen vehicle, it actually has the longest range of any zero emission vehicle. It's 370 miles. Um, it has our latest technology, including this infotainment system. So the two key things about this infotainment system are one, of course, it's huge size. It's about 12.3 inches. And the fact that it's also very quick and easy to use. Um, it's touch uh, screen, so you can uh, move it. And as you can see, very quick to react, very low latency. Um, the other thing is you can input information or um, get stuff by touching it, or you can also have or use the dedicated uh, scroll wheel here, especially if you want to keep your eyes on the road, um, you can use the dial. And then of course there are buttons down here if you want to go straight to um, certain features like map or radio, things like that. Um, you can pinch to zoom in and out. Uh, and the other thing about it is actually quite customizable. So when you start the vehicle off, it starts off with three different uh, screens. And these screens you can change depending on what you want. So for example, um, instead of climate, I want to start off with a map every time. So let's do it that way. So now when I start the car on, I'll show them the map, how much range I have, and then my audio. And then like I said, if you want to show audio on the big screen, like this. But you can also show different things. So if I want... Um, I can show you know, navigation and fuel range, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this system also uses cloud-based voice recognition. So uh, unlike, unlike the old systems, which you know, they're all uh, hardware-based, this one will uh, go to the cloud, so it understands natural voice a lot better, uh, as much quicker, and you can actually interrupt it while it's making uh, uh, its statement, its, its speech. Uh, other stuff, let's see. This is going to be particular to the fuel cell. As you can see, you have different features. One of the key ones, of course, because it is a hydrogen car, is you want to know where the nearest hydrogen station is. So um, it has all the hydrogen stations on here, and it'll show information about the hydrogen station. So right now, it's not um, logged on to our telematics blue link, but when it is, it'll show you whether the hydrogen dispensers are on or off. Uh, information about the station status, you know, numbers to reach, things like that. And of course, it'll tell you how far away the stations are based on your driving range. This car will have um, level three semi autonomous. So when you're driving the freeway, it'll maintain, you know, the lane as well as remote parking assist. So you can stand outside the car and keep a button pressed and it'll park into a parallel park or direct. So of the telematics, how much is similar on other Hyundais and, and even Genesis? Well, it's the latest iteration in terms of our audio uh, AVN system, so it's the 5.0 AVN. Um, Genesis, I think the G90 actually has a similar display, but maybe not all these features. And then this system will be, you know, start migrating into different Hyundai products in the near future. So this is the latest one. So this is the first cutting edge latest uh, for the whole Hyundai Genesis lineup then? Correct. You can use uh, audio, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto by connecting that, and it'll display on the whole screen. It'll take the icons from your phone? Yep. Um, now we found out recently that it'll only take the icons that are approved and acceptable because there are some that are driver distraction that it will not uh, automatically transport or to that implement. desktop, right? Correct. So yeah. it, I think uh, Android and Apple basically decide which ones are you know, enabled and which ones are not. 